can't believe I just screwed that up. Oh my god. Got one! As soon as he, as soon as he landed, let's go! Got him! Got him! I waited! Let's go! I think he's good. I got bit right off! He bit me right off! This line's doo-doo. Freaking garbage. Got him! Let's go! Let's go! I waited again! Let's go! currently 10 21 at night um and i'm just tying up some uh top water probably like a punching bait and i still haven't decided what the third setup would be but uh tomorrow's a big day we're waking up bright and early right at like four o'clock just to get to the lake right at sunrise so um i'm excited I, I haven't done this in a really long time and i'm hoping that i can get on my first frog fish of the year i think i haven't gotten any frog fish yet but uh yeah so that's all i really had to say i'm gonna tie on these baits I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. See you then. All right, ready? Oh. All right, let's go. Look at all this boat traffic already. Alrighty guys, we did it. Welcome to the water. We are here basically at sunrise. Um, been up since around 3.45 in the morning, which is easily just the earliest I've ever been up just to go fishing. Um, here with my girlfriend, we're just waiting for her to put the paddle on. Um, I got this frog on. I'll show you that when we actually get fishing, but it should be fun. The water's looking glass. Um, it's looking kind of foggy out, kind of cloudy, but it should peel off a little bit towards the afternoon and even the clouds and fog kind of help for the top water situation anyway so i think we could have a pretty good session for some top water and then i also have some punching rigs and a little swim bait to uh, attack them once they go subsurface so should be fun stay tuned Alrighty, guys this looks like a decent spot to start um we're up kind of shallow i mean the grass is like subsurface yeah i'm thinking early morning they gotta be the bass gotta be roaming around at least a little bit <laughs> before they because today's gonna be super hot they're probably gonna be um they're gonna be deep and in cover later so i think now is our only opportunity to really get them so we're just gonna walk this frog cover water see what we can get a top water bite i'm thinking i'm thinking that gotta get on the edge of this grass then again I have no idea yeah see like this is deeper water right here so. this looks like the edge we're looking for yep there's top water activity right over there oh my goodness something just jumped I don't know if it was a carp or what Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, I just got hit. Oh my What the I didn't miss it. I missed it. No. He came off. I gave him slack. Oh my god, I freaking missed it. I gave him slack up. I was trying to Oh my god, guys. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I didn't even move it. He just gulped it. Guys, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just let that happen. He didn't even, he just like gulped it. Are you kidding me? I gave him freaking slack. Cause I was trying to freaking turn my kayak. I'm so mad. And I didn't even have to move the frog. He just, crap guys, I'm so sorry. I wonder if, a small blow up means the big fish or if it's just like a tiny fish i feel like the tiny or tinier ones are more aggressive i could be wrong though no. let me know guys because i i don't really i don't frog fish a lot i'm more of like a popper whopper plopper spook bu eh, buzzbait kind of type of guy 
Can't believe I just screwed that up. Oh my god. Got one! As soon as he as soon as it landed, let's go. No slack, no slack, no slack, no slack. No! Again! Oh my god, as soon as it landed. What the fuck? Alright guys, I'm not talking anymore. I'm not talking, I'm just gonna focus. It wasn't that big, which makes me feel a little bit better, but holy crap, guys. How did he come off? I barely gave him any slack. Are you kidding me? Again, I didn't see it. I, I really gotta focus. I really gotta focus. How did I miss that fish? Crap. I feel like I'm not, like, seeing these blow-ups for some reason. I don't know how. Oh my, all right, I gotta pay attention. I gotta pay attention. I literally hooked two fish and they both came off. You know how, oh my God, I'm so terrible. Come on, let's pay attention here. They're just hitting it on the, right as it hits the surface. It's good to know, I guess. I guess that means they're aggressive, right? Yeah, I'm not even gonna give it that much time, honestly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cast it, let it sit, maybe pop it a couple times and then reel. Unless it's like new water. Now I understand. These fish are hungry and they like the frog. It's good to know. I have to mention guys, some old guy, super, super nice at the dock. He goes, uh, be safe out there or whatever. And he goes, they've been biting on the wacky rig. And I'm like, oh yeah. I was planning on using the frog first and probably switching to something like that. He goes, good luck. And as we're launching, he gives me two of his Sankos. I don't even know what kind of worms they are, but super nice guy. Shout out to this guy. I don't even know his name. I should have asked, but yeah, we got really nice people around here. I appreciate it. First time someone's ever given me like, actually, no, I take that back. When I was pond fishing, when I very first started, some guy gave me like his full Texas rig setup, like, like weight, bobber stop, hook, and worm. And that's how I got into that. But first time in a while that's happened at least, dude. What's going on? Let's go. I think he's good. He might be good. Oh, let's go. That was a great blow up. That was a sick blow up. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? What is going on? Get in the net. Get in the net. Let's go. Let's go. Elena, I got a frogfish. I got a frogfish. Let's go, guys. Oh, my God. Let's go, guys. Oh, oh he's so feisty. Take a look, guys. Take a look. Oh my god, I waited. That was a perfect textbook blow up. Oh, let's go. Let's go, guys. Whew. Take a look at this fish. Oh my god. All right, let's check to see if I'm recording. Okay, we are. Take a look, guys. A beautiful frogfish. Let's get this hook out and then we'll weigh them. What? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, what I did, guys, actually, take a listen to this as well. Hopefully it doesn't get away, but I made a deep cast. I made a middle cast, like a medium cast, and then I made like a shallow-ish cast, but we're still kind of out deeper. I think that's the key here. Jesus! Wow, he really wanted to go. All right, guys, my guess he's probably was like a two pounder. He definitely wasn't a PB or anything crazy, so not even mad. Finally hooked up on our first frogfish. Let's go! Let's freaking go. I hope you guys saw that. I really hope that the angle was good and everything. Okay, guys. Um, let me show you exactly what I was using. I was going to wait until we actually hooked up on something. So this right here. Ow, I just poked myself. Um, they got really sharp hooks. This right here is a Booyah Pad Crasher, I think. I think it's called that. I'll edit it, the name in or put it linked down below, whatever. But um, this is in like a black color with like a white underbelly trim the legs down probably like half because they were down really really long and uh this time it was a little bit different he didn't hit 
on the initial cast, he didn't hit right when I, right when it landed. I had to um, entice him just a little bit and then um, popped it a couple times, gave it a couple, you know, I waited, gave it a couple pauses and then eventually he blew it up and I was able to see the blow up happen, process it and then set the hook because when you're frog fishing, what everyone says, I'm not an expert in frog fishing because I barely ever do it, but what you have to really do, what a lot of people say is once you see that blow up, you can't, you gotta fight your impulse. You gotta wait like at least like two seconds for him to actually take it in, get the hooks in, and then you gotta set the hook as hard as you can. So that's exactly what we did. And we are now one for three, finally landed a fish. Feels great guys. That's probably, I'm pretty sure my first official frog fish. Feels amazing. Let's get on some more. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we woke up for, guys. 3.45, baby. Woke up for exactly that. I'd probably be satisfied if that was our only frogfish because it was a good one, too. Whew. All right. Wouldn't be mad if we got more, though. That's for sure. That was so fun. <laughs> I freaking love frog fishing. It's so worth it. 100%. Just see him blow up. And to think that's only the first one I've caught. Like, imagine guys like Greg Blanchard throw frogs around for fun and then get like freaking five. Like it's nothing. Like, come on. It's too fun. Shout out Greg Blanchard though. Alright, guys, we just saw it blow up kind of deep. Not exactly the middle, but towards this area very well could have been a bass because we're catching we're getting a lot of these blows in deeper water not super shallow water Let's see if we can replicate that bite i mean that blow up i mean this creek itself is pretty shallow so even in the middle it doesn't get super deep probably like 15 feet at the most i could imagine What? What? What the hell? It disappeared. How did I miss that hook set? I waited too. What? I'm gonna catch this fish right here. It's the last thing I do. Oh, that sucked. He's gone. Oh, that sucked. What? 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 What the f What was that? I don't even, that might've been a smallie. He jumped straight out of the water. He jumped straight out of the water. He jumped straight out of the water. Might have been a smallie. I have a feeling it looked brown and it jumped right out of the water. So only smallies do that type of crap. That was crazy, bro. How did he miss it? I got bit right off. He bit me right off. It's gone. He bit me right off. That had to be a pick roll, bro. Like I didn't even stand a chance. Crap, now that's out of commission. I don't even feel like, bro. All right, we're sticking with the frog. That's ridiculous. That man really just took my swim bait like it was nothing. Did not care. Zero First I miss a smallie. Then I throw this freaking, what's it called? Saucy swimmer. Feel a bite, reel, reel it in. I barely even get to set the hook. What the hell, bro? Wow. He just bit me right off. That's just, that's just funny. That's just hilarious. I find that funny. I'm getting played out here already. Love it. Love getting played. Got him! Oh, no! 
another one. Oh yeah, this one feels good. Let's go. Number two. Come on, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh my God, what is this? Oh, it's a big bat, it's a big bass. Oh, let's go. Let's go, get in the net. Get in the net. Let's go. Got another one. Another frogfish, insane. Take a look, guys. Let's get a hold. Oh, let's go, guys. Another good one. Around the same size, maybe a little bit smaller. Look how he ate it. Barely hooked him. Right in the top lip. Once again, I waited for him to kind of swallow it. Let's look. take a look at this bass, guys. Beautiful lake bass. Let's get him in the net. Actually, get him on the gripper. Let's go. Let's get him in the net, in the water, so he lives. All right, guys, take a look at this bass. Beautiful lake bass. Blew it up. Awesome blow up. Uh, waited a couple seconds. You got to make sure that's super important that you're waiting a couple seconds before you set the hook because those first two fish, I don't know if you guys saw, but I was a little bit too eager to get on my first bass. But this is our second frog fish of the year. So far doing pretty good. I had about five or six blow ups. Been able to hook up on two. Boy, this is, a, this is Looks like we're at two pounds, four ounces. Wow, so that other fish must have been like close to uh, two and a half, two and three quarters. Great fish. Let's get one more look. And then let's get a nice release right here. There you goes, guys. There he goes. Great fish. Let's go, guys. Alrighty, guys. Second fish of the morning. I keep forgetting that I'm using like a seven foot heavy rod. So these fish feel smaller than they actually are. I was a two pound, four ouncer. And if I was fighting that on any other rod, it would feel like a freaking giant. So that other one must have been closer to three pounds. Great fish. Once again, on the pause, I'm doing like a very uh, medium rate of uh, like a pop pause. So let's just not get hit by these uh, rowers here because that'd be something else. Oh my God, I got bit off again. I saw him. He was right at the boat too. I literally saw him. It looked like a bass. I don't know why I keep getting bit off. This line's doo-doo. It's freaking garbage. How am I getting bit off like this? I literally saw him. It, it looked like a bass. It was just a regular bass. This line is garbage, bro. To that one dude who suggested me to just put this freaking line on my bait caster. Oh yeah, I put it on all my bait casters. Screw you, bro. I've literally lost like two or three fish because of this garbo line. I'm tying perfect knots. I literally tested the knot. I don't know why it would be snapping. Dude, that's my second fish that I've lost. What is up with this line, bro? It's 12 pound line. They're literally just biting it straight off. How is it breaking so easily? I don't even know. I'm not even gonna use this anymore. I can't even use this. I'm just gonna have to re-spool. It's happening way too much. All right, just saw a blow up over here. This is my third time tying on a freaking swim bait. Holy crap, that thing. Sword. This is a jerk shads by Banshee or something like that. I don't freaking know. Got it in a mystery tackle box. I know for a, I tested the line. My uh bait casting line. I forget. I think it was like I don't even remember the brand, but it was just so bad. I tested it. It wasn't even my knot. Like the knot didn't break. It was the freaking um. It was just like six inches up from the line, and I checked the line. It wasn't even like super frayed or anything. So. I think the line is just garbage but we're using a different rod now this line is a little bit better i've used it plenty of times never really had problems with it so should be fine i don't know if you guys could see it but that last time i just got a bite it i saw it It looked like a freaking bass it looked like a regular it, i mean it was a big bass but it was just a bass so there's no reason that a bass should be cutting off my line like that what i'm thinking is it's just the freaking tension of the line i just can't stand it and it's 12 pound line, so I'm really just confused why it's breaking, but whatever. 
Or maybe I'm just too shallow. I don't know. There's just so many variables here. Too many. Let's go a little deeper. Oh yeah, this is looking all deeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like the look of this. I have no idea what kind of accent that is. something out there it looks like a little turtle yeah he's moving around there's a little turtle out there got him let's go let's go i waited again let's go elena good call good freaking call let's go mm. Why is it so hard to keep them pinned, bro? Crap. Did you see that? Yeah. God. At the boat. That couldn't have gotten any closer. It looked like a pretty good one, too. Fudge, bro. As soon as we move deeper, look what happens. Gotta be kidding. He just slurped it, too. He didn't even... Maybe I just gotta set the hook harder. Like he didn't even, it wasn't even a huge blow up. He just freaking slurped this frog. All right, yeah, we were way too shallow. That's for sure. Good to know. Back on the action. All right, guys, um, just a little update. We've been on two fish. Uh, we've missed countless others. We've had probably, if I had to guess, around five blow ups that we've missed. Um, still using this Booyah frog. It's doing pretty good work. Um, what we did for the, when we first started, we started out pretty deep. Then we went kind of shallow, didn't really get any bites, so we're back deep, and literally my first cast deep. Um, we got a blow up, brought him all the way to the boat, and then he finally spit it out, which is kind of annoying, but at least it's a good sign that we're doing the right thing. Um, the clouds are still around. I don't really know what's going on. It's supposed to be sunny, but uh, we're just gonna fish this top water until it starts to get sunny, a little bit warmer, and uh, hopefully get on a couple more fish. Stay tuned. Catch more than two fish. That might be a fish right there. No. Oh my god, it is. It's a pickerel. You know what I was just thinking of? Catching a pickerel. I was like, yo, where are the... Yep, see you later. I don't even care, bro. I was just thinking, like, yo, where are the pickerel at? Wow, okay. Oh. Now it's my thing's all messed up. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got on two frogfish. Kinda wanted to get on more, but honestly, I'm happy with even getting one uh, because that's our first two frogfish of the year. And even last year, I don't even think I got on a hollow body frog. Had a great time. We woke up super early and I would say it's probably worth it. If we did hook up on those other blow ups, even like the two swim bait fish that I missed, probably would have been a little bit better, but can't really complain. We had a lot of action. It was really fun. It was really calm out, nice and foggy. So perfect top water conditions. If you guys enjoy these kayak videos, please let me know down in the comments. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and do that right below. Um, welcome to the channel. We like to post a lot of kayaking, bank stuff, a lot of different multi-species. I'll be going for trout probably next. So we do a lot of different things. So uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.